Okay, so now today we're gonna to look at the Folger Adams 110 series mogul cylinder. Uh, this is really our original detention pin tumbler lock. This is our first pin tumbler detention lock, and it's really a great lock. These locks have been installed and used for decades uh, with really on any maintenance or any work on them. They're, they're, they're a really good lock, and they're very common inside detention facilities. These mogul cylinders are made to go inside our 120 series electromechanical locks. That's where we run into these a lot. So let's talk about opening these up. Let's open it up, look at it, and see what's inside and how to put it back together. Always we'll pull our key out. Just want to pull these screws off the back. Like that. Pull our cam off, set it to the side. As always, insert our key, turn it a quarter of a turn. Now you'll want to use your plug follower that's designed for this as well. And you just push your plug follower right through. That'll hold your springs and drivers in place up there. And then you can go ahead and look at your plug right here. I uh, see that everything meets the shear line. We'll remove this key. Now what's something uh, that's interesting about these uh, locks inside these mogul cylinders is that when we empty these out, you look out right here, you'll see that not only do we have our bottom pin, but we also have a stainless steel ball bearing right there. So that's a nice feature about these locks. That's why they last so long is because the bottom pins never come in contact with the key. Those bottom pins simply roll right along this key. And because the key is always made of a softer material, you're not wearing out your lock at all. These pins really rarely need to be uh, replaced. More than anything else, they just need to be cleaned because they do get pretty dirty. So when you're pulling this apart, always keep track of it. You're gonna have your um, ball bearings and, and your bottom pins. There is an upside and a downside to these pins. You'll see uh, there's a little concave section on one end right there that rides up over the ball bearing as this side doesn't have it. So keep that in mind too when you go to reload it that um, that's inside of there. Then we can go ahead and we can look at our mogul cylinder here on the inside. We have our springs and drivers works just like a conventional cylinder. Not really a whole lot different. Now if you pull your springs and drivers out and you have more than one set of top pins in here, you're gonna know that this is master pinned. So you gotta know how to master pin. You cannot do traditional master pinning. They can be master pinned, but how you do it is not the same as traditional master pinning. You gotta know your steps to be able to master pin these. So if you do pull one apart and you come up with two top pins, uh, you have a driver and you have a master pin or two pins in there, you know that it's master pinned and you need to figure out how to do that, learn how to do that so you can reload these properly. But master pinning these is excellent. There is a trick to it um, to know how to do it. But once you do, it's it's a great tool to have. Okay, so then we're ready to go ahead and empty out um, our cylinder, our mogul cylinder. What you can do is just lay your lock face down and pull out your plug follower. And when you do that, you'll empty it out and you should be able to find your five springs. It's a five pin system inside mogul cylinders and your five drivers. And we've got them right here. And these drivers inside these mogul cylinders, if it's not master pin, gonna look like that. These are called mushroom drivers, and as always, anytime we see a variation to our drivers, that's to prevent picking. This is pretty aggressive, and this is why this lock doesn't get picked very easily. Okay, and then what you have inside these locks also is this next piece, which is different from a conventional cylinder, and that is called your master ring cylinder. Okay, your master ring cylinder. And in the Folger Adams, you're going to have that washer right there. And that's your whole lock emptied out right there. So then we're going to be ready to reassemble our lock. We'll do it by putting our washer back in. We're going to put our master ring back in. Now, sometimes this is tricky to get this reloaded. So what I like to do is reinstall all of my springs now. And these springs will help hold uh, this master ring cylinder uh, in place because sometimes it wants to move on you. It can be a little bit tricky. So I like to put those springs all in right now so that it'll hold it for me so that I can um, get my plug follower back through it. So we will load all five of our springs, put it back in, and that 
will then allow me to reinsert my plug follower. Okay, make sure my plug follower is inserted the right way. Okay, and now I'll be ready to um, go ahead and reload my drivers. Now, sometimes a question gets asked, which way do the drivers go? Well, the mushroom head of this driver for it to be effective has to cross the shear line. So you have to hold it from the top with your tweezers. You wanna hold it from the top. Um, like you see right there. Okay, so that top is what's gonna cross the shear line. Okay, then we'll go ahead, just drop it in. Like you said, grab it from the top, grab it from the mushroom head end. That's the correct way to load these. Put those in there. And I always load from the middle out. Then go to my back and I'm gonna catch chambers number four and five. Okay. Nice thing about mobile cylinders, you can use your hands. They're pretty big. So it's all loaded, so that's good. We'll just put our ball bearing goes in first, then we're going to put our bottom pin back in that concave section face to the bottom. Okay, always good to insert your key. We'll have it turned at a quarter of a turn, and we'll just pull that right back through. Okay. That'll allow you to open it. Now, when you go to pull your key out, always remember, pinch your key out, push on the plug wall. If not, you're gonna get the whole cylinder to come out. You're gonna drop drivers and springs. So just pinch your key out, okay? And then uh, you're ready to reassemble your lock. You're gonna put your cam back on it, and then you're gonna put this little cam plate. There's a right way and a wrong way. That little Spartan helmet there goes right down towards the keyway like that. Put our cam screws back in, and tighten them down, and lock works like it should. That is a Folger Adams 110 series Mogul cylinder. Great lock. We'll have more on this uh, in the future.